Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome. So for today's video, we're gonna be testing out the brand new e.l.f. Camo Powdered Foundation. I'm actually really excited about this because I'm a big fan of e.l.f.'s Camo line. Like I love their CC cream, their concealer. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I gotta test it out. So we're gonna do a first impressions review and wear test. So I got this directly on Ulta's website and I picked up the shade Light 210N. I was trying to get Light 240W because that is the shade that I'm in in the CC cream, but they didn't have it. it was sold out and I'm hoping that I can make it work but yeah we're gonna test this out today and see if it's worth the hype so I hope you guys enjoy grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it. all right so I went ahead and did some skin prep and I just used the Milani SPF BFF primer which is one of my favorites just to hydrate the skin so with the powder foundation what I'm gonna do is apply it to basically everywhere minus my under eyes so I'm gonna do my under eye concealer and powder and then I'll apply the rest of the powder foundation to the rest of my face so I'm gonna go in with the NYX bear with me concealer serum this is my current favorite and I have this one in the shade beige I love this concealer because it's so hydrating and creamy And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set just the under eyes. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light. I'm gonna apply this also with that same sponge. Now we can officially go in with the powdered foundation. So this is supposed to even out your skin tone and this is a talc free powdered foundation, which I think is awesome. And this is supposed to provide long lasting and buildable coverage for an airbrushed finish. And again, I'm in the shade light 210 and packaging is simple, which I like. It's just a compact white powder. Okay, brightness is down. Let's try it out on the right side because this is my good side. So I'm just gonna use the sponge that comes with it. I normally don't ever use these kind of sponges, but today we're gonna make an exception and go with it. Oh wow, this is uh, dark. Okay, let's just blend this in. Definitely is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, wow, this is a little orange on my skin. Okay, let's see how it covers up these little pimples that I have right here. Oh, it definitely looks super smooth as you can see, but the shade is off. Let's do the forehead. Seems to be definitely covering up though and evening out my skin tone, but it's just the shade is definitely off. But this is what it looks like. It definitely looks really smooth. I feel like it has pretty good coverage. I mean, you saw it covered that up right here. It's still kind of peeking through a little bit, but it definitely evens out your skin tone and smooths you out, but it's very natural. It doesn't feel dry. But actually, now that it kind of blended in, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I'm going to do the rest of the face and then we'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking if I should use a brush because I'm not crazy about this little sponge. So I'm going to try to apply this with the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush, which is a more like fluffy, denser brush. I typically use this for foundation or my cream products, so I'm going to try it out with this. But it actually looks really smooth. Maybe the color isn't terrible. Like I'm hoping with like bronzer and everything, I can make it work i think it's actually really smooth like i said i like how it's not dry and it definitely evened out and covered up what i needed it to so let's try the other side with the brush Ooh, i love it with the brush it looks i feel like a little bit softer And it's definitely a lot quicker to blend in versus using the little sponge that comes with it. I think the sponge might be good maybe for touching up, but I think applying it with a brush is definitely your best bet. I'm gonna hit the nose. Wow, it looks really, really smooth on this side. Maybe the color actually is not terrible. I feel like with a brush also, the color is more forgiving versus when you first swipe it on with the sponge, it definitely looks really intense and dark. But then I feel like with this, brush it just diffuses the product 
so effortlessly like that took like less than 10 seconds to blend in loving it this brush is magic it's truly like a universal complexion brush you can use this for any products on your skin and it'll make you look flawless and this is like the confirmation with this powdered foundation even it looks so good so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup here on camera with you guys so let's do some bronzer i'm gonna use the lys no limits matte bronzer in the shade motivate which is another current favorite For blush today, I'm just going to use Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. I'm also skipping out on highlighter today and I'm just going to use quite a bit of this because it's like a glowy blush. So it's like for me like a two-in-one product. Gives you that blush and natural highlighter look. And the only other thing I'm going to do for the complexion is just set my makeup and I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last. And by the way, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to finish up my eyes and my lips and then we'll keep chatting about the foundation. So give me one second. This looks really, really good. Now, it's super early right now. It's only like 11.30 a.m. So, of course, I've only been wearing this since I first applied it, maybe for like 15, 20 minutes. But I'm gonna wear this throughout the rest of the day, and of course, we're gonna do a wear test. But holy cow, this looks so smooth, and it looks really seamless now. I was really nervous at first with the shade because I thought it looked really orange and very splotchy a little bit, like around my cheeks. But once I blended it in with the Complexion Duo brush, I feel like everything came together. And after it settled into my skin, I think it looks so much better. I think this brush right here like this combo is beautiful together I don't really recommend applying this with this sponge right here because I just feel like you need to use a lot more product and it just doesn't look as smooth and even as it does with the complexion duo brush coverage wise I would say this is like really good medium coverage it's not too intense and it's not too light it's like right in the middle and the finish is natural as well which I like because it doesn't feel drying or matte on the skin I feel like I could do my complexion in like five minutes using this some concealer some bronzer blush and like I'm good to go so I'm really really loving this right now so I'm gonna wear this throughout the rest of the day, of course. I'll show you guys what it looks like in natural daylight and I'll come back in a few hours and we will chat and see if it looks just as good as it looks right now. All right, you guys, I'm back and it is now 7.23 p.m. So it has been about eight hours since I last applied the foundation and checked in with you guys and I have not touched my face at all. So this is what it looks like real time. I also wanted to mention that my lip liner, I mean, it did kind of fade, but I have not applied anymore or touched this up also since earlier. And since then I did eat lunch and dinner and there's still lip liner on my lips and I was using like a tissue and everything. So that's really impressive. These new Love Triangle lip filler liners are so good. I'm loving them. They have so so many great shades the formula is amazing and you can see it's like really long wearing so let me just touch up my lips really quick since I'm here so I'm switching over to a voiceover really quick just because I felt like the echo was really distracting so I'm sorry I'm gonna go back to talking to you guys in just a minute but basically what I was doing here is just touching up my lip product and I will leave everything linked down below if you're interested but it's all drugstore and I'm currently really loving this lip combo but this is what my face was looking like after eight hours of wearing the foundation so I will say even though I'm super shiny I still loved the way the foundation looked because it was still in place it didn't really fade or separate very much I mean a little bit around my nose like it separated but the foundation didn't really like come off on any of like my problem areas which I'm really happy about especially for $11 so what I ended up doing was just taking my rice paper blotting sheets you can get these at Sally's Beauty and they're so good so I just touched up on camera to show you guys all of the oil which was quite a bit so like I said if you have oily skin make sure that you're using a good mattifying primer underneath and then I also did add a little bit more of the powdered foundation just in those areas and I felt like it looked good as new and still very comfortable with nice coverage. I just realized my microphone wasn't plugged in so I probably most likely will do a voiceover during that segment. Long story short I am very impressed with the foundation. I think it wore beautifully and despite the fact that I got very shiny on my forehead I feel like after I touched up it still looked really good and I don't really mind especially because the foundation is still in place and I tend to struggle a lot with foundation fading around my nose especially and around my mouth and I don't really notice any fading like the foundation is still there in those areas and I'm normally not one to love 
powdered foundations. I think it's just because the ones that I've tried in the past have been very dry and just not super flattering on the skin, but I think this one looks beautiful. It's very smooth. There is quite a bit of oil, like I mentioned, on my T-zone. So next time I use this, I'm probably gonna use something mattifying on the forehead. And I definitely recommend that if you have super oily skin. If not, you're bound to get some oil peeking through, most likely, and you're gonna have to touch up. At least that was the case for me today. I just felt like I could have probably touched up a little bit earlier, but I wanted to wear it all day just to show you guys how it looks. And now that I've touched up, I feel like I could wear this foundation for a couple more hours and it still feel really comfortable because it still feels very skin-like. It feels natural. I think also tomorrow when I use this foundation, I'm probably gonna use a little bit less around my nose just to avoid any excess cakiness. Did separate a little bit in this area, but nothing crazy. Like I said, the majority of the foundation is still in place right here. So I'm gonna report back to you guys tomorrow after I wear this again for a few hours. Okay, so right now it is 1.29 p.m. I've been wearing this since around 8.30 this morning. Minus the fact that it does look so smooth. I think my favorite thing about this product is how long wearing it is. It has great coverage. It's very natural, really lightweight. So I think anybody, no matter your skin type, you can get away with using this product. It really just comes down to how you prep your skin. That's like the determinant factor on how it's gonna wear throughout the day. So if you're using more hydrating products underneath, you're gonna have more shine peeking through. But if you have dry skin, you could use this because it's not a drying product. And then if you have oily skin, just use some mattifying primers and then top it off with this and you'll be good to go. I don't think it looks terrible with the sponge that comes with the product, but I do think it looks better with the complexion duo brush so like today I pretty much used all the same products that I used yesterday the only difference is I did use the matte putty primer on my forehead and I feel like it definitely helped to control some of that shine peeking through today so this is gonna be the next viral product if it's not already by the time you guys see this video so get this foundation while you can because it truly is amazing and for $11 this performs like something that would be like triple the price honestly it is so good also I think this shade does match me pretty well I did have to also bronze my chest again today just so it can kind of look a little bit more even so I feel like the color is definitely doable for me but it's not like an exact perfect match so I'm probably gonna try another color to see if I can like perfect my shade let me know if you're gonna pick it up or if you have tried it I would love to hear your thoughts I hope this video was helpful and all the details will be in the description box below and that is officially it for this video also if you are new please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more drugstore and affordable makeup reviews and until next time I'll see you very soon in my next video bye